wild cactus appeared. What's up, YouTube? Thanks for joining me for another Clueless Bushcraft video. Today, I'm going to be tearing this boss up. All right, so uh, if you guys haven't seen my uh, previous video, I actually made this. It's a quick video, so click here uh, to check it out. Otherwise, stay tuned. All right, thanks. What do you guys think? So this bow right here that I have is a recurve Mongolian horse bow. Um, it's a little shorter than the usual recurve bow um, because this is actually meant to be shot from a, uh, a horse. Uh, I got this a while ago and uh, this thing has been really, really cool. Uh, the draw weight on this bow is about 45 pounds or so. So this is definitely enough to kill a deer. I also have some arrows too. So I have one practice arrow. So this right here is my uh, only practice arrow. Uh, otherwise, uh, I have about four more arrows, wooden arrows. And these are sort of like broadheads. These are really sharp. Well, this one's dull, but they're, tip they're usually really sharp. So I'm going to start off with this arrow. I have the number one headband. I will defeat all who oppose me. <laughs> okay. You may have 10,000 needles, but I only need one arrow. Oh, damn it, damn it. Let's try that again. Bam, there you go. Right there. All right, let's keep going. Okay, because these arrows are not practice arrows, these are really hard to actually pull out. <laughs> I might be able to pull them or push them all the way through, but it'll mess up my feathers. Well, actually, it's still okay. right through the eye. Oh, it keeps going right through. Ah, yes. All right, so this is uh, my bow unstrung. Uh, here's a quick tutorial of how to string up my uh, bow. So basically, I got this here. Put it up on that loop there, right? This one, I usually just put it into the ground like that. And you have to step over it. So you pull this one up and bend it. This one loops over. And basically, it hooks up onto that, like, like there. And there you go, it's strong. All right, let's uh, take a risk and shoot towards the camera. And yeah. <laughs> All right, let's try that again since I missed every single one. <laughs>
right, I need some crotch shots. <laughs> All right, let's try something different. I am going to try to shoot it with my feet. I'm gonna hold the bow with my feet and try to shoot it like this. I'm not sure if this stuff works, but let's give it a try. <laughs> that actually worked. Wow, can't believe this is actually working. This almost seems like it would work better. Look at that. Now I'm gonna to try to do it laying down backwards. Ah. Let's see here. I don't know how this is gonna work. No, this is not going to work. I need to have the arrow on this side. There you go. Now it might work. Oh, got it. I'm actually hitting it because I'm close. That's the only reason why I'm actually hitting it. One missed. Oh. All right, I'm done. So I recall missing about like 20 shots or so. So for every shot I miss, I'm gonna do a push up. Ah. There you go. I haven't done push ups in a while. I'm a fat ass. All right, well, uh, thanks for joining me for this Lewis Bushcraft video. If you guys enjoyed it, please don't forget to share, like, and comment. Uh, otherwise, if you uh, would like to see more videos in the future and get notifications, uh, consider subscribing. It'll help me out. Otherwise, uh, thanks uh, for watching, you guys. All right, take care. All right, and also a shout out to my bro, uh, Wiseman. He was the one who gave me the idea for uh, Cactar. So uh, thanks, bro.